go through pretty much and teach everything up to the letter formation down here because that's what we've covered so far. So I'm going to do a demo lesson. Normally, if I were teaching a class, I wouldn't say, I mean, I call them by their name, the visual drill, the auditory drill. Over time, kids pick it up and know what you're talking about. But I wouldn't stop and say, like, like I'm going to do right now, we're doing the visual drill. We're doing the auditory drill. We're doing the blending drill. Because what I want you to do is I want you to check off as we go so you know right where we are. So I am going to tell you where you are. So my first lesson that I'm going to teach is um, F. And if I look for the F card, this is how I'm going to know what goes in my drill. Cards all in order. When I find the F, and I want to be doing this on purpose to show you. Let's see if I can find my F card. Okay. When I find my F card, let's say your cards are all out of order. Okay. F is number 18. That means that in my review drill, I'm going to use cards 1 through 17 because I've taught in order, and that's how I know. So now, as I look at the back of the cards, if it's higher than 18, it's not going to go in my review drill. So I wanted to show you that, so give me one second to sort these. Okay. Does that make sense to everybody? And if you, now, what I'd also like you to do is look on the left-hand column of the lesson plan, and I would like you to circle the letter, find and circle the letter F right now. So that's what you would do when you're teaching a lesson. You circle the one that you're teaching, okay? And then everything above F, so O through CH, will be in my review drill, okay? It's in that same order. All right. That, does that make sense to everybody? Okay. So when you when you review, you don't necessarily have to go in this order. You just have to make sure you have cards one through seven. Yes, exactly. All right. So now I just need to find my F card. Okay. So obviously, if I'm teaching F today, I'm not going to put F in my review drill either. Okay, so right now, this is a mix of cards, 1 through 17, or 1 through, yeah, 1 through 17, or essentially O through CH. It doesn't matter what order they're in when I go to do the drill, okay? So, all right, class, we're going to start a new lesson today, okay? We're going to start off with our visual drill. All right, everybody look up here and tell me, let's do, um, I'm trying to decide. Because you guys are going to start off with probably more of the modification, let's do a few where I'm going to do the, point to the letter, you say the name. C. 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 All right, now let's do some where you're just saying the sound, okay? Nice job. Okay, so that is the visual drill. You can go ahead and cross that off. Now, what I actually should have done is while I was doing that, I should have put them, and I'm putting them face down, in my blending piles so that when I get to that point, all I have to do is put the cards up, okay? So then from there, I'm going to go to do, um, I'm going to pull out my phoneme graphing chart, okay? So now we're on the auditory drill. I'd like you to get out your sand trays, or I'll let you pretend to get out your sand trays, okay? Or you could have your, your dry erase boards, okay? So I'm now what I'm going to do is I'm going to say the sound, and I want you to write the letter in the sand. We're going to start off with the modified one, where I would say like ah, and the students would write the O, 
Then I would say, trace it, and they would say, O, underline left to right, ah. Okay? So let's do that with the first couple. D. Let's trace it. D. 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 Good. How about G? Now let's trace it and say the name. G. 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 Alright, we'll do two more like that. Alright, at this point, your students have only learned C. So if I say, they won't know to do K. Um, yeah, I'll say, and they'll, and if some kids ask, you say, you can say, we're going to do the C, just to clarify, it's fine, okay, so they go, now let's trace it, C, all right, one more that way, T. trace it, T. T, eventually they'll get to this, hmm, and you'll go, M, hmm. drill you can check that off okay so now we'll get out our blending all right I don't have them in any particular order I might have to keep my eye out for some bad words but other than that we're good okay all right I want everybody to get out their blending finger ready I'll do the first one with you at lat. All right, keep your fingers out. At hat. So I might start with some real words. Can I ask for classroom management? We've got to have this, this, this. Before we start, like a phonics first lesson, would it be good to have everything else so you go from one to the next to the next? Um, yes. You know what? Especially in doing this, have all the supplies ready. What I've heard a lot of teachers do in the kindergarten level is they do this whole group on the floor. They get all their kids out and, you know, they do the drill with all the kids sitting on the floor. They might have their kids, um, as a matter of fact, some of the schools do get this all like on the floor where they have their supplies, like each kid brings a box to the floor with them and everything they need for 